this steel bridge will save lives. It will also change them as it breaks the isolation at the root of rural poverty. Crossing between the Rwandan districts of Ruhango and Muhanga used to require navigating a treacherous river. Uh, there were many dangerous things that happened before this bridge. Because every year, at least one person drowned in the river during the rainy season. Every year, this river killed at least one person. But that will end, because now we have this safe bridge. The 1,500 students who attend a nearby school now have a much safer option. A new steel bridge, built by the local community, Bridges to Prosperity, and a team of 11 industry volunteers led by the National Steel Bridge Alliance. The rewarding part is meeting the community, to see their smiles and watch as their excitement grows as the bridge grows. That's a big part of our day, is seeing just the little changes that happen both on the structure and in the community. The local team completed three months of substructure work and site preparation. When the NSBA team arrived, work kicked off in earnest bringing the bridge into service in less than two weeks without heavy equipment. It's really starting to come together. We're starting to go over the water. So this is really exciting. We're starting to actually see all of our hard work become a real physical thing that people will be able to use for years. Spanning 85 meters, the new bridge will safely connect 2,400 Rwandans with medical care and the markets that support their families. That's the impact of what the steel bridge industry does every day around the world. I believe that people all over the world should have the same freedom to get to where they want to go. No person should not be able to get to a clinic, to a school, to the store, to sell their product that they've worked on so hard. NSBA is proud to support Bridges to Prosperity in their vital work to end rural isolation and poverty, one community at a time. Visit AISC.org slash B2P for our story.